Amnesty International is an international human rights organization whose goal is to investigate and prevent gross human rights violations across the world. Throughout its existence, it was often involved in various ugly scandals. On August 4, 2022, during the height of Russia's aggressive war against Ukraine, Amnesty International published an accusatory report claiming the human rights violations were committed by Ukraine. It's not about і донесення світові правди. Це про створення фальшивого балансу між злочинцем і жертвою, між країною, яка сотнями і тисячами знищує цивільне населення, міста, території цілі, і країною, яка відчайдушно захищається the Ukrainian Amnesty International office reacted immediately, with the spokeswoman and the head of the office unexpectedly resigning in protest. The Ukrainian office was not involved in preparing or writing the text of this publication, and unfortunately we reached a dead end at the very beginning of this report's development because our concerns about the unacceptability and incompleteness of this piece were not considered. Amnesty International Ukraine But instead of objectively responding to the criticism, the head of Amnesty International simply called everyone mobs and trolls. The situation would have looked ambiguous if not for the sudden revelation that the report considered testimonies of people from filtration camps in temporarily Russian-occupied territories, meaning they were under obvious pressure from the law enforcement agencies of the Russian Federation. Moreover, the Center for Strategic Communication and Information Security of Ukraine received information that FSS officers supposedly checked the materials collected by journalists and volunteers for Amnesty International. Unsurprisingly, this very report has become one of the main news stories of the Russian media. But the world's independent media and experts unanimously declared that Amnesty International works in the interest of the Kremlin, as it has done before. Against the backdrop of the scandalous statement by Amnesty International, the Ukrainian Defense Ministry issued a reminder again having done so many times since 2014. Ukraine is ready for any investigation concerning war crimes with the involvement of international partners. That is not something you could say about Russia, which despite bold statements, does not grant any international organizations access to territories under its control. The only things endangering Ukrainian civilians are Russian missiles and guns and marauding Russian troops. Full stop. If Russia stopped invading Ukraine, there would be no danger. British Ambassador to Ukraine, Melinda Simmons.